So one of the coolest things that you can do with Sanity is hook it up to a bunch of different web hooks. The great part about having cloud functions for Firebase is that we can receive those web hooks and then we can um, manipulate that data or do whatever we want with the admin uh, console. So I'm going to show you uh, what effect this has um, in the end. So if you see here, I have my Firebase console with a bunch of different um, document coll or collections within a document for sanity. And the one that I have highlighted here, it shows um, different items um, that are populated based on our sanity data set. So if I look at something like title and I scroll down to title here, if I actually take and say, go core and then publish this, you'll see how it updated almost instantly over in Firestore. So anytime I'm updating Insanity, this pushes the changes and copies the data over. Now, if you're already backing up your Firestore database, which you should be, um, you can then have a solid backup for your Sanity data over in Firestore. What else this also allows for you to do is if you're running Firestore for anything else in your um, web page more dynamically um, like I am, so I'm building it with Gatsby um, out of the box, and what that allows for at that point is for you to have dynamic data related to the data that's already in your static page. So it's a really good balance between the two and you can keep them in sync. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to write that webhook. So you'll start out um, by creating Firebase init and you'll end up with a, a folder structure similar to this. It's a little more complicated because this is my production site. Um, but essentially you want to update uh, index.ts. I have it kind of subdivided so it's exported in your TS file, but the logic will still flow the same way. So once you're in your index.ts, you're gonna to want to write a functions.https. This is from the Firebase functions import that you can see in the website uh, demonstration. So it will end up producing this Sanity webhook handler out in your Firebase console, and that's where you'll grab the URL from. Uh, see the uh, post on Coding Cat, Coding Cats to be able to see that URL. So first things first, we're gonna check to see if it's not your key coming in, it's someone else's and they're trying to hijack you, just 500 and throw them out. After that, we're going to set up a try catch because we have some promises that will be coming uh, into play here. So the first part here, we're just sending a 200 response back to Sanity to let them know that we got a good payload and everything worked out well. If we don't, we're saying it's a 400, our bad, um, please stop trying. So we're going to go ahead and write this new promise function called get Sanity data. Down here, when we when we start writing that, you'll notice we're taking in this body project ID that is coming from the Sanity webhook. The only thing that comes from the Sanity webhook are project ID and um, the, the data set and what project ID it is. Um, so at this point, we're going to loop through IDs all in case they've sent multiple IDs out. We're going to update them accordingly. And so when we go, we can use the URL just straight fetch feature. Uh, Sanity does have a client that is offered as well. So you can send the request either way. Um, and once you get the result back, we're gonna loop through that result and update our database. So at that point, you're pushing every single type of data that's coming from Sanity over into your Firestore database. And that should be it for you to check. I hope you like this video. Um, check out Sanity and Firebase.